My first impulse was to look up. We are used to seeing them rocket through the sky. They headquarter in penthouse suites overlooking the city. Olympian castles for our modern gods. But gods aren't what they used to be. Looking skyward, I found nothing. So I tried looking down, and there he was. Superhero. I'm a reporter. Pete Henderson. Well, I'm not exactly news. I'm writing a book about superheroes. Oh, yeah? How's that going? It's just getting started. You know, there are a lot of books about superheroes out there. But journalists usually only focus on the powers and the amazing feats. I want to take it in a different direction. But the powers and the amazing feats, that's the fun part, right? To me, what's interesting are the real people behind the costumes the day-to-day -day life of a superhero. That's the story I want to tell. And you want to talk to me about my day-to-day -day life? That's right. I don't know, is this some kind of where are they now thing? Because I don't want to come off like a, a has-been. Not that that's far from the truth. You, you just tell me about your life and I'll report it objectively. Might not make much of a story. Stuff just happens to me for no apparent reason. Doesn't lay itself out all nice and neat like in the comic books. Do you always drink this much? Not always. I'm celebrating. Celebrating what? My latest failure. Let me begin by saying how much we've enjoyed having you on our team. Well, spare me. I'm fired, right? We really value the contributions you've made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then why me? If it's not performance related, I've made contributions. You said it yourself. And no one's denying that. Remember Lord Paradox? That was huge. He was trying to reshape the universe or something. I stopped him. Single-handedly, I stopped his plan of intergalactic reshapement. That was blind luck. That was experience, buddy boy. I get it. You've got nothing to compare to Lord Paradox on your record, and you've taken it out on me. Just last week, I stopped the humanoid from detonating the mega bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saved the city. Kudos. The Lord Paradox, man, he was after the whole universe. He was messing with time and shit. We're really sorry to see you go. Jesus. You're fired. Well, I've been uh, reviewing your resume, Squid, and... Squidman. Excuse me? The, the name is Squidman. Sure. Well, uh, uh, Squidman, <clears throat> maybe this would be easier if you just listed your powers for me. Okay. Great. Well, I can shoot ink out of my fingers. Ink? A lot of ink? A fair amount. What else? That's about it, really. Uh, ink out of my fingers. Sometimes in pressure situations, I can shoot it out of my toes. So, um, you're interested in temporary employment? That's right. Whatever you can find me. Have you done any work with um, spreadsheets? Uh, no, I don't think so. Data entry? No, it didn't come up. I was mostly fighting criminals. We primarily fill office positions. Uh, can you type? No. Thank you for your resume. And um, if we get anything for you, we'll, uh, we'll give you a... So what's your next move? Just keep my eyes open, I guess. It looks bound to change, it always does. So you believe in luck? 
Oh yeah, good and bad. I've had streaks of both you wouldn't believe. That's the important part. It always comes in streaks. My dad was a gambler. Craps was his game. One thing that I learned from him is you gotta know when the dice are hot and play it to your advantage. Now I've seen this in action. There's no logic or mathematics to support it. But if you can recognize the streak that you're on, lucky or unlucky, you can ride out the bad and get the most out of the good. And you're on a losing streak now? For the moment, but it'll turn around. It always does. of me searching I have to let her go been better. You busy? Uh, no, man. I was just, uh, just working on something. No severance or anything. I don't even have enough money in the bank to make my rent. So you want to crash here for a while? Man, I was hoping you'd ask. Dude, I swear, this is only till I get back on my feet. Ah, uh, don't sweat it, man. I could use the company. So you still, uh, not working? Yep. So far... I'm moving, I can rig it so I never have to. Good luck with that. Ah, uh, thanks. Yeah, I'm on unemployment for another month, and uh, then I'm hoping to get this lawsuit thing going. The actual damages are pretty small, but I think I can get them on the whole emotional trauma angle. Don't you need a lawyer for that? I haven't worked all the details out exactly. Um, yeah. Well, how about you, man? You got any prospects? I've been on a couple of interviews, but... Yeah, I hear you, man. You want a beer? Yeah, sure, thanks. Hey, 
Hey, hey, cable. Time it is. Oh, really? <clears throat> Hi. I didn't expect to hear from you guys. Sure, so what's the gig? Um, the people at the agency told me this wasn't going to be a filing job. It isn't. We need you to retrieve one of our file clerks. You lost a file clerk? Um, he's hiding. We hired him from the same agency as you. He's the best temp we ever had. Hard worker, fast, efficient, incredible mind for detail. Sounds impressive. Oh, he was. He never forgot a file. I think he had a photographic memory. What was he doing as a file clerk? I don't know. I think he used to be some kind of professor. It was pretty desperate when he took the assignment. At first, he had a great attitude, but as the weeks passed, his behavior began to change. Change? How? Every day, he was a different person. You never knew what to expect. One day, he would speak in rhyme. The next day, not at all. Once, he spent the entire day talking backwards. Backwards? How could you tell what he was saying? We couldn't. Well, then how do you know he was speaking backwards? You could just tell. He was a very intelligent man. So how did you, uh, you know, lose him? He got worse as the weeks passed. He became, I guess the word would be animalistic. Good morning. I think it looks good. A signature here, four or five copies, and I think it's good to go out. We knew we had to let him go, but by then he'd stopped leaving the file room. He's been living in there for weeks now. We can't find him. I don't know where he hides. And to be honest, we're all a little scared. Herb Wasserman from accounting went in after him. Mr. Perkins wanted me to tell him. Ah! on sick leave, but I don't think he's coming back. So you want me to get this guy out of there? I know it won't be easy. I'm a superhero. I'm trained to deal with these kinds of things. He's just crazy, right? No powers. Not that I know of. No problem. This file room is pretty big. We have a lot of clients. What is it that you do here, anyway? He's awake!
banging around in there. Time to leave the file room. But you gotta pay the bill somehow, right? System, did I? It would be a shame if something happened to these files. No! That's better. Now sit. Like a human being. Good. Now we're going to talk. Do you remember how to talk? What's your name? You're gonna have to stop acting like this. It's just not acceptable. Too many days. Not enough fun. My decayed soul overwrought. Right, it's a rhyming thing. Usage of brain near zero percent. Great matter skews. Unglues and ferment. Uh huh. I get you. Overqualified? Tedium starts with T. Leads to delirium. Starts with D. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> We're taking you out of here. <laughs> and here's the real kicker. They only paid me for an hour's work. You're kidding. I wish I was. That's awesome. Oh, so, um... <laughs> here he is. Hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Pete, this here is my buddy Warren. Howdy, Pete. So how long have you known Squid Man? Uh, let's just say we go way back. He likes to keep his background shrouded in mystery. Warren does everything that he can to keep from working. <laughs> I've made it my life's goal. He is a real hero. Maybe you should put him in your book. Pete is writing a book about me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, a book about superhero. You talked to anyone else yet? Uh, they aren't all as, uh... Accessible as you are. <laughs> That's me, the people's superhero. The working man superhero. <laughs> I'm at least getting my own chapter, though, right? Hey, okay, we'll see. Hey, thanks. Keep them coming. Warren was a superhero for a while. <laughs> the Electrosaur. Electrosaur? Yeah, like an electric dinosaur. Yeah, that uh, was the best scam ever. Oh, that was great. So what was the deal? Well, a couple of years ago in the Superhero Society, four of the bastards laid me off! Ah, fuckers. They had this program where you could bring in a kid sidekick and show him the ropes, and uh, well, Warren was out of work. Always. So we signed him on as my sidekick. 
got him a costume, and called him the Electrosaur. What could be more powerful than an electrical dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> but we kind of neglected to mention what his powers actually were. Or whether he had any powers at all. We just let him use their imaginations. And once he'd gone on a couple of missions with us, it became more and more awkward for them to ask. So you went with him on mission? Yeah. I basically just tried to stay out of the way, not get killed. An excellent strategy. You gotta know when you're outclassed. Mm. So what happened? Oh, well, they caught on. Eventually. But not before I made some serious bank. Oh, hell yeah. Mm. And the teams, they paid well in those days, right? They let you soar. He tagged along for a, a good, what, two or three months? Uh, six months. <laughs> <laughs> I lived off those chicks for a year. Healthy severance, too. Yeah, don't you just love that? The teams used to really pay out. <laughs> Those days are long gone now. Oh, fuckers. Good riddance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, when you, when you first got it. Hey. <laughs> this is it, buddy, you're living it. The day-to-day -day life of the superhero. Doesn't get any more day-to-day -day than this. I hope you're taking lots of notes. Um, getting back to the conversation. Right. Interview me, I can take it. You were talking Are you guys hungry? When you first got into the uh, business. Squid Man and the Electrosaur. The winning combination. Uh, the greatest prime fighting team in history, man. Uh, and... And... Pete! He needs a superhero. Mm -hmm. Really, really, just Pete is fine. No, 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 no. I get to be the electrosaur. You need one too, man. Yeah, what do we call you? Um, Captain nah, something. No, 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 that's me. Good. You need one. We'll work on it. Uh, so, uh, can I ask you a question? Uh, yeah, the interview. Really? Pete's writing an interview about me. Yeah, the book, he told me. Yeah, he's writing a book about me. I told you that. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So what's your next question? Well, that was a second. Uh, Squidman? Huh? You okay? <laughs> yeah, sure, I'm fine. What were you thinking about? Oh, you know. Do you mind if we pick up with the interview? Sure, what were we talking about? I'd asked you about the romantic life of a superhero. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the women. Is there a lady in Squidman's life? Nah. <laughs> you think the ladies would be all over a superhero, wouldn't you? Sure. It used to be that way a few years back. All the action I could handle. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, these superheroes used to throw some wild parties. <laughs> I was living like a rock star for a while then. Do you miss that lifestyle? Nah, I mean, the groupie thing can be fun, but eventually it all starts to feel empty. I sure would like some female companionship though. Uh, wasn't there anybody special back then? There was this one girl. It's it hard Pam. Uh, pretty serious? Well, it started out casual, but it felt like it was going somewhere. <laughs> you know how it is when things start to click. What happened? Well, I guess you could say that it ended badly. Very badly. You broke up? Worse. Well, for starters, it turned out she was something of a superhero groupie herself. Oh? Oh, yeah. Definitely had a thing for the superheroes. I found this out the hard way one night when her ex shows up at the worst possible moment. Why don't you just talk to me? I don't want to talk to me. Just give me a chance to I don't want to talk to you. What the hell did I do wrong? Nothing to hold now where my heart belongs. This guy had super strength invulnerability, I mean, the whole deal. I didn't stand a chance. One punch, and it was all over. Knocked you out cold. No, you don't get it. 
He killed me. I died. But you came back from the dead, right? I mean, you superheroes always do. Yeah, I know. And I did too, obviously. But I didn't fake it or anything. I actually died. I felt my breaking. I felt lightheaded as the oxygen stopped hitting my brain. And then... Sounds silly to me, too, but that's how it happened. They brought me back. So you were given a second chance? I guess so. But there is one thing about this whole rebirth business that I can't get out of my head. Uh, the moment of your death? <laughs> well, yeah, getting killed sucks. Definitely. But it's more than that. The moment. It had a feeling of... Finality. I mean, it only took a split second, but in my mind, there was no doubt it was over. But obviously, that's not the case. When I came back, to the world and everything, the injury to my neck was gone. There were no broken bones, no scars of any kind. Even the ones I got as a kid wiped away. So? <laughs> what? They cloned me. Okay, uh... You've got a new body. It's still a second chance. Did they somehow transfer my essence, my soul, or whatever, to the cloned body? Or did they just duplicate the memories and personality, then implant them? Because if that's the case, the real Squid Man is dead. And I'm just a copy. What if you are a copy? Does that make you any less you? I don't know. All I know is thinking about it makes my head hurt. Good night, How's it going? Fine. What are you doing? Working from home. Ah, yes. Stuffing envelopes. Yes. Stuffing them with paper. Can you actually make money at that? It is possible. Theoretically, at least. How many of these would you have to do? Just to break even. Um... A lot? Thousands? <laughs> I've been up all night. It's supposed to be easy, that's the whole point, but it's not easy. Oh, um, you got a phone call a couple hours ago. Uh, I meant to get you up, but I, uh, the envelopes. Did you get a number? I did. Hi, this is Squid Man. I'm returning a call. 
You're kidding. Foolish humans, cower at the feet of Lord Paradox. Please don't hurt us. When I am finished, my dear, you and everyone on this pathetic planet will have never existed. <laughs> Not so fast, Paradox. Who dare? Squidman. Remember me? Oh, I remember you. And you'll not find me so easy to defeat this time. You'll die by my hands. Well, before you do something rash, you might want to try these. Mm. Mm. These tasty treats are so wonderful. My dreams of conquest suddenly don't seem so important. Huh. Mm. Even you can't resist the delicious taste of spongies, cream-filled snack cakes. So long, Paradox. I don't want to erase history anymore. Any timeline that includes these delicious cream-filled spongy cakes can't be all bad. Mm. He's right, kids. Be sure to ask your mom and dad about spongies, cream-filled snack cakes. And cut. That was great. Very natural. Hey, I've been spouting that kind of dialogue for years. Drinks are on me, guys. Yeah, you've been getting drinks all night, man. And you know what? Rent's on me, too. Oh, come on. Now that I got some cash, I intend to share it. <laughs> it's a hit. Squid man. To me. America loves a has-been. I'm not trying to ram your parade on you. But... Oh, going into journalism? Mode? Well, some may accuse you of selling out. I don't see it that way. You are playing off your image as a superhero and self snacking. Well, your first mistake is in assuming that I have any credibility to tarnish. My image is that of a washed up loser, and that's what they're selling. Okay, but you're still participating. Listen, I love superheroes. Always have. Fuck! Yeah, but aren't superheroes supposed to stand for truth and, and justice and. And sponges. And why can't a superhero stand for sponges? They're yummy. Listen, Hippie. Warren here is the man on the street. He's right. I'm the common man. The everyman. I got my fingertip on the pulse of a nation. Warren is a good old-fashioned man, and he loves truth and justice and sponges. And how can you not love sponges? Uh, they're filled with sugary goodness. The fact remains that the superhero business doesn't pay for free agents. And we put on these costumes because we want to stop the bad guys. Or because we don't know how to do anything else. Either way, we're performing a public service, but we gotta make money somehow. Saving the world don't pay the bills. Damn straight it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does a love of tasty dessert treats somehow contradict the love of freedom and justice? Not in my world, it doesn't. I don't want to live in the world where it does. God bless America, and God bless Spongy's cream-filled snack cakes. May this be the first of many empty sellout endorsements. I'll drink to that. Spongy. 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 Spongies. Sure to try the new raspberry flavor. <laughs> okay, everybody, I'm gonna step out for a bit, but I'll be right back to sign more pictures. Bungie would go well with that. Thanks. Hungry, huh? I haven't eaten all day. Are you okay? 
Yes. Anything I can do? I don't think so. Try me. I'm a superhero. No, you're not. You're just some guy they put in a costume to help sell spongies. Seriously, I'm the real item. I can shoot ink out of my fingers. Let me buy you a cup of coffee. And tell me all about it. Okay. I'm Squidman. I'm Martha. I'm not sure if this will qualify as superhero business. We live to serve. Consider me at your disposal. My own superhero. Wow. So what's the problem? You know that bus stop across the street from the store? Yeah. That's where I was supposed to meet my boyfriend this morning. Boyfriend, huh? Well, he was my boyfriend. Now, I'm not sure. These superheroes are trained to deal with unusual circumstances. Just give me the facts, and we'll try to sort it out. We met in grad school, back in Oklahoma. Oh, yeah? What were you studying? Speech pathology. Andrew was in psychology. He graduated six months before I did, and he moved here for work. The plan was for me to follow him when I graduated, so I did. And now... He's not here. Have you been having problems? No. Everything was fine, but now he seems to have dropped off the face of the earth. Have you tried calling him? He said his number was disconnected. So I looked up his apartment. It was barren, like it hadn't been lived in for months. You're sure you had the right place? I'm positive. I know he lived there. Recently, he must have. Do you have a picture of him? I'll tell you what. I'll look into it. See what I can dig up. Thank you. Well, I'm no detective, but I will do what I can. I really appreciate it. So you are an art student, huh? No, speech pathology. Oh yeah, that's right, you said that. Why did I think you were an art student? Why the hell did you say that? I don't know, it was one of those things. When she started talking about college, I guess she'd been an art student a split second before she said speech pathology, and that was what I remembered. <laughs> oh, you crack me up, man. She seemed like she should have been an art student. How do you figure that? Trust me, she had a definite art student thing going on. She had this necklace on. It looked handmade. I don't know. Uh huh. Seriously, art student. If I got to write the story of my own life, the new woman in it would definitely be an art student. I don't know. Art student seems a little cliche. And and aren't you jumping the gun, calling her the woman in your life? I'm telling you, there was something going on. There. I was smitten. I'm not saying that it was love at first sight or anything, but she was digging me. I was getting a vibe. <laughs> oh, awesome, a vibe. But you're helping her look for her boyfriend. That seems like a conflict of interest. I don't see it that way. I'm gonna put forth an honest attempt. If I don't find the guy, who knows? Maybe something can happen. If I do find the guy and she ends up staying with him, well, then I'll just suffer in silence. Ouch. Yeah, but it could be fun to play the martyr. It'd be so tragic and poetic if I hooked her up and they ended up being together. A little self-congratulatory for a martyr. Yep. But you can't deny the dramatic impact. Well, if you were writing your own life story, what would happen next? Would she fall for you or get back with her boyfriend? Well, if I wanted it to be a realistic story, then I'd find a boyfriend and... They'd end up staying together. You masochist. <laughs> but briefly, she'd wind up breaking up with him as a result of his mysterious past or whatever. And then she'd come to me for consolation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'd console her. I would be wonderful. And it would, it would seem like something great was going to happen, but she just wouldn't go for me. Why the hell not? I don't know. Something superficial. Or maybe she's not feeling the chemistry. Or maybe nothing at all. Who knows? She just doesn't. This story sucks. But it rings true, doesn't it? To a pessimist, maybe. So, that's the story you tell? No, I think I'd go for the unrealistic version. For purely selfish reasons. Ah, uh, thank God. I find the guy. Well, I don't. Doesn't matter, it's me that she loves. 
She forgets all about him when faced with my charm. That's what I'm talking about. What do you think, Pete? Just let me know how it turns out. Do you want a cup of coffee? No, thanks. Let's just get down to it. Okay, sure. Well, I did what I could, and I contacted my police and CIA sources, had them run the usual checks. And? Well, they couldn't find any evidence of the man that you mentioned. He never moved to the city. He never existed at all, as far as they could tell. But what does this mean? Well, either he was lying to you the whole time, or I don't know, something stranger. I told you I wasn't much of a detective. We were able to locate a few of the acquaintances that you spoke of. Did they remember him, or did I imagine the whole thing? No, they remembered him uh, vaguely. It just seems that there's no formal record of him and no history before college. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Mysteries never seem to have satisfying solutions. Not in real life, anyway. So you, you think you're going to stay in town? I, I guess so. I pretty much closed up shop when I moved. I've got to find a job. <laughs> Shit. You'll find something. I thought Andrew would be around to help me get started. If there's anything that I can do... I'll be okay. Look, uh, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to dig up any information. Guess I didn't really know Andrew at all. Take a chance that each new person is going to be the one. Andrew wasn't it. Most of them aren't, I guess. But I do like to think that everything happens for a reason. Maybe Andrew was just a placeholder on my path to better things. A placeholder? Yeah, maybe he just came into my life to get me where I needed to be. Thank you for your help. Just doing my job. Hold on. Hold on. Yes? I, uh... Well, since you're new in town, I had those printed up a while back, so... Uh, well, that's my hotline number. You can use it in case of an emergency. What kind of emergency? You know, a, a superhero emergency. Maybe a giant lizard. A giant lizard? We had one last year. It laid eggs at the train station. A bunch of us super types had to go in there and just... But do you think it's likely you'll get a giant lizard two years in a row? Well, that's the thing with these emergencies. You can never tell. Anyhow, that number is good for other things, too, not just lizards. UFOs, supervillains, elves. Elves? Could be anything. You might need help finding an apartment, for example or moving a large piece of furniture. Or maybe being new in town, you might need a good restaurant recommendation. Oh, superheroes are good for that too? Yeah, we're great for that. <laughs> Was it a tough decision? Not really. Trust me, I'd love to have called myself something cooler, but uh, I can shoot ink out of my fingers. Squidman just sort of suggested itself. I guess I can see your point, but there's got to be something else that shoots ink. Maybe you could be ballpoint pen man. The inkwell, <laughs> Captain Calligraphy. I don't know, is a pen cooler than a squid? A question I've often pondered. In any case, the costume's already paid for. <laughs> Thank you.
You know, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but do you have to wear the costume all the time? Well, I, I don't want to compromise my secret identity. I mean, the first few times we went out, I thought it was kind of cute, but you never take it off. Doesn't that seem a little weird to you? Well, I, I guess I joke about it, but I do take that part of it seriously. It's gotten too easy to leave the costume on. You know, Squidman isn't my real name. It's not? No. Remember, I came up with that to go with the superhero thing. Oh, yeah, right, because you shoot ink out of your fingers. Yeah. And I still can't tell you my real name. I gotcha. Past shrouded in mystery and all that. That's right. But you can call me Russ. Russ. Is that your name? I'm sorry, but I can't reveal that. Okay, Russ. I didn't know a puffer fish. Oh, you did. I used to know a good fish. It was just, you know, that's just what I love about this neighborhood because it takes me back to my roots. This is where you grew up? Yes, this is where you grew up. Imagine you grew up. I know, I know, but I'm working. I can't. I have to. He's on duty, sir. I'm on duty. Thank you. You never end. Having fun? Hell yeah. Oh, this is great. Just like the old days, huh? Yeah, like when we were kids. I still say we should have brought a six pack, though. Yeah, maybe. I'm trying to cut back. Ah, cleaning up your act, huh? Okay. I'm really happy for you guys. Thanks, man. Martha's a real sweetheart. You two are great together. It's about time you got your share. How about you? Anything panning out for you? I got a couple lines in the fire, so to speak. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, I'm working on inventions. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, you can make a bundle if you patent a new product. How's that going? Uh, pretty good. Um, I just have to come up with something really good to invent. I guess that's the hard part. I don't know, man. Still waiting. Something's gotta happen for me eventually, right? Good things are coming, man. Maybe it's time you started taking better care of yourself. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Pete. What's that? It's the first chapter. <laughs> it's a long fall from Mount Olympus, and Squid Man was at the very bottom. <laughs> awesome. I hope that's not too... No, 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 I love it. Besides, it's true, I had hit rock bottom. You know how to read it now. Uh, but let me know what you think when you get a chance. This is all about me. Have you been talking to any other superheroes? A few. But now I'm thinking I'm going to keep it about your life. You're kidding. My life is boring. Not at all. Things are really turning around. And this is exactly the kind of story people want to hear. It is a nice one, isn't it? It is. Remember when we talked about luck from the gambler's perspective? Yeah. See what I mean about my luck being in the streets? My luck's changed. That's what's happened. 
just like you predicted. Is it crazy that part of me keeps worrying that this is too good to be true? That the other shoe was about to drop? Mess this up. I'm not much of a cook. I'm sure you can handle it, hero. You know, I never felt like a hero until you called me one. You are. You rescued me? Well, I don't know if I ever exactly rescued you. You did. Have you ever heard of Captain Quasar? No. There are a lot of superheroes out there. He's the only one I ever met before you. Oh? Saved my family when I was a kid. My dad used to have one of those single engine prop planes. He'd take us up, fly us in a few circles, then back down on this tiny rural airstrip. Well, one day the plane stalled and we were going down. It was terrifying. From out of nowhere, this superhero, all dressed in gold and green, flew in and he guided us down. Even after we were safe, I was really shaken up. I couldn't stop crying. Before he flew away, Captain Quasar looked down at me and he said, if you're ever in trouble, just look for a superhero. Rescuing people is what we do. That's a nice idea. Did it make you feel better? Yeah, it worked. I stopped crying. Well, since then, I haven't been in any more plane crashes or run into any armed robbers or anything. But I've had some hard times. Dated some losers, made some bad decisions. The thing with Andrew was definitely a low point. But when I was most in need of rescuing, there you were. Well, let's just say that we rescued each other. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Oh man! A cake! You guys made me a cake. That's awesome. <laughs> guys, here's to uh, good things for everybody. All right. Happy birthday! I, I, I brought. Beer? Pete, you eat gonna We're going to get pizza. No. <laughs> nice to see you outside of your uh, little squid helmet. You're not wearing that anymore. Did we? You did that already, bro. We, yeah. People made me feel that way, too. I was ostracized. <laughs> Dude, cut that. I thought maybe that. Cut that cake. Uh, was that no. obviously? Did you no. yourself, Martha? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Store bought? Oh, yeah. One of my favorite. Squid Man. Oh, I was talking about that. Humble. Man of the people. Man of the people. One, two, oh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Did you capture the asshole this guy is all the way? In the essence of the asshole. Oh, my God. <laughs> How long have you all known each other? Maybe about seven years old. Yeah. Yep. Second grade. Oh, Figured, you know, the two invited me. Pete, thanks, man. That's awesome. I want to give a toast. Make a toast to everybody. Raise your glasses. Uh, to my oldest friend and my new friends. Yeah, Martha, it's nice to meet you. So That's glad. Thanks a lot. Pete, thanks for coming, man. Cheers, everybody. Anything? A couple of leads. You shooting your new commercial today? <laughs> no, it's this interview thing. They're going to run it on a morning show. You're in demand. That's right. My celebrity spokesperson. Doing my part to promote Tooth Decay. That's a good gig if you can get it. A lot easier than saving the universe.
retailers across the country are pulling spongies from their shelves as the number of spongy related deaths continues to increase. The timing of this news couldn't be more tragic as spongy sales are at a 50 year sales peak due to their popular ad campaign featuring super spokesperson Squidman. Turn it off. So what now? Well, I talked to Artie at the agency. The endorsement deals are off, all of them. No surprise there. I guess not. He even thought I should come up with a new superhero name. I think the world's ready for Captain Calligraphy. You can't do that. The worst part is all those people choking to death on those things. That's got nothing to do with you. I guess not. But still, it was my face on the billboards. Hey, thanks for helping me get to the bottom of this. Oh, you hated this detective crap. I do. I'm terrible at it. What's up with the notebook? Well, keep a track of my leads. <laughs> Making my list of suspects. Susie Sweetie Pie? It's their main competitor in the snack cake business. And you think the folks at Susie Sweetie Pie poisoned the batter? No. But it's all I can come up with. Squidman! Can I help you? You can help me! By dying! <laughs> Good line! Dare you laugh at the manhandler! <laughs> Stop that! <sighs> Sorry. Manhandler? Where'd you come up with that? Silence! Do you mind if I ask you a question? What? Why exactly am I supposed to fight you again? Because I am the manhandler, and by my hands, all heroes must fall! I see. So what, uh, you're a villain looking to make your reputation? You could say that. By fighting me? That's right! <laughs> Stop laughing! <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is just too much. Do you have any idea what a second stringer I am? I heard you were tough. Who told you that? I heard you survived a broken neck! You heard wrong. I didn't survive anything. Listen, pal, you're wasting your time. If you fight me, you're turning yourself into as big a joke as I am. Again! You mock me! I'm trying to do you a favor. Seriously, my powers are stupid. Look at this. This is all I can do. Ah! 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 That's enough! Who dares? Come on, man, you're killing him. That's the idea! Well, look, you've already kicked his ass. What else do you have to prove? You're just gonna bring a lot of heat on yourself if you kill him, man. Think about it. You better split. Are you okay? You're gonna be just fine, buddy. Uh, let me get you some pain pills. Uh, get you out of here, we'll go home and have a party. What do you say? Stay with us, man, stay with us. They caught the manhandler. Yeah, locked him up. Cop's a fucking idiot. <laughs> no argument here. Pick 
know how to get an overcoat. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it'll go with the cane. Give me an air of mystery. I can see that. You haven't heard from her? Sorry, man. She's not answering her phone. She said she was gonna be here. She seemed fine in the emergency room, didn't she? Yeah, totally fine. She was a little sad. She was sad because her boyfriend almost got killed. I just thought that she'd wanna be here when I got released. I'm sorry, man, but... If you're looking for help understanding women, you've got the wrong guy. Are you sure it was her handwriting? Yeah, but what the hell? A one word note. And she hates this dramatic stuff. It's not her style at all. Dude, you're gonna hear from her eventually. For some reason, I don't think so. But I just wanna go on record. This is total bullshit. I don't know what to say, man. And with the way things have been happening lately... Hey, okay. you know what I've realized, man? You just gotta try to live your life moment by moment. Embrace the present, focus on the positive. That's my philosophy. I thought your philosophy was do as little work as possible. This is the new me. I don't know, I, I thought you were gone when that goon was beating on you. I've made up my mind from here on out. I want to get as much out of life as I can. It's great, man. I'm happy for you. I really am. Things are going to turn around for us, man. You'll see. Something really great is just around the corner. I can feel it. Oh. Oh. You might not want to sit there. It might be dangerous. I'm pretty sure I'm cursed or something. Warren's dead. What? The fireball fell from the sky and killed him. No explanation, no idea where it came from. Some story, huh, Pete? You getting all this? I'm, I'm sorry. I... I can't believe it. Oh. He was my oldest friend. We grew up together. Did I tell you that? He was loyal. Solid. I mean, he was a little nuts, but he was always there for me. I don't know what to say. I've been hearing that a lot lately. Of 
course, I'm still here, right? I still get to live. But what have I got left? Tell me you don't believe in losing streaks now, Pete. This one's so bad, it killed my best friend. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I know, there's not much to say. I'm cursed. There's no such thing as a curse. Call it what you want. I ain't safe to be around. Well, wait. According to your theory, good follows bad, and bad follows good. So, you do some good, right? Nice try. But I've never fallen this far this fast before. You're alive. You've been dead. Wasn't that lower? I'm not sure. It was definitely one of my low points. And that was followed by good luck, I assume. Oh, yeah. After my triumphant return, things were great for a while. <laughs> right? Things got better. Yeah, and they did. They always throw you a nice party when you come back from the dead. They welcomed me back into the superhero society and felt like I had a clean slate. Kind of peaked when I saved the day. I never really saved the day much. Hmm. No? I'd beaten a bad guy or two on occasion, but I never saved the day. Not when a lot was riding on it. But there was this one time that I did. You had to tell me about it? You're playing journalist or just trying to distract me. There was this guy named Lord Paradox. He was one of these cosmic super villains, always messing with the time stream, trying to take over everything. Right. I know, typical stuff. Anyhow, a bunch of us teleported to his spaceship. Everyone was there. It was a huge crossover event. showed up and there wasn't a lot that I could do so I kind of just you know tried to stay out of the way <laughs> can't defeat all of us paradox kind of uh, leave your insides a little scrambled. What do you mean? Well, let's just say I had to pee. Badly. So I kind of wandered off during the battle, you know, looking for a place to go. Spaceships have bathrooms. I don't know where they put the damn things. <laughs> So I, I guess I must have somehow stumbled onto exactly the right control panel to piss on, because that's when the whole thing started to go up. We teleported out of there just in time. I didn't let on to exactly what I'd done, just that I sabotaged the control panel. I was a hero. Flying high. Fun while it lasted. And that was the last that we heard of Lord Paradox. No. I know, it's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> no! I knew it. No way. I knew you must have blindly stumbled upon my master control unit. Um... What 
Where's Pete? There is no Pete. There never was. Then there's no book? No, you weren't. There's no book. I, I don't fucking believe this. I mean, well, why? What's the point? Revenge? I had to make you feel something of the loss that your interference caused me. I had to take from you everything that you loved. Uh-huh. Pete was just a way of finding out what those things were. Imagine my surprise when I saw how completely you wrecked your life on your own. There was nothing left for me to take. Funny how that works out. So, I resolved to change all that. Everything good that has happened to you in these last few months has been my doing. What? How? Oh, I won't bore you with the details, but your job, your newfound love, Martha, all of it, I place these things in your lap. I, I don't see how you could Your have... ignorant belief in love wouldn't allow you to see the hands that pull the string. The Lord Paradox giveth and taketh away. You mean everything bad that's happened? That was you too. Manipulating circumstances is child's play to a trans-dimensional warlord. I am the author of your pain. The architect of your destruction, your malicious god! You went through all of this so that you could gloat? Yes. Before killing me? Precisely. But I... Warren? What did Warren ever do to you? He was just another tool to further your suffering. He was my friend. And yours too. Enough talk! Now we finish it. Stand up! Yeah, man, fuck that. Why don't you just kill me here and be done with it? This is our final showdown. A duel to the death. If it's all the same to you, I'll just sit here and finish my drink. Your beloved Martha is my prisoner. She's okay? If you desire her eventual release, you will give me the satisfaction of facing me like a man. I knew she wouldn't walk out on me. I'm growing impatient. Get up! I agree to this and you let her go, right? Fine. Let's get this over with. all about? You're a supervillain, right? Indeed. I am Lord Paradox. Uh-huh. This is some kind of a revenge scheme against Squidman? That's right. I don't know what your game is. I do not play games. What have you done to him? Do not concern yourself with him. Then release me already. Well? How would you... Spit it out. How would you like to be my queen? Your queen. The universe is vast, and time is infinite. To rule it alone would be unthinkable. Please, be my queen, and the treasures of the multiverse will be yours. You're kidding. I assure you, this offer is not made lightly. No, I don't want to be your queen. I don't know why you'd even ask me that. You don't even know me. But I do. But I do. Pete. 
Pete? Pete was an invention of mine to gather information to use against Squidman. Where is he? I'm not here to talk about him. So you developed a crush on me in your disguise and now you want me to be your queen? Not exactly. This is painful for me to speak of. Oh, for God's sake. Andrew. I'm sorry. I don't get it. This was another disguise. What are you saying? There was no Andrew? No. And what exactly were you trying to accomplish by becoming him? Andrew was part of my revenge. I'm not following you. You were taking revenge against me? No, I... I'm very sorry I had to hurt you. Then why? To truly punish Squidman. I had to take the things he loved the most. But when I first encountered him as Pete, his life was completely empty. So I traveled back in time, went to Oklahoma, to set you up. He needed a loved one to appear in his life at the moment of my choosing. So you're saying we only ever dated so you could toss me to Squid Man when you were done with me? So you'd have something to rob him of? But how... A thousand subtle ways to alter probabilities. The superhero who saved your life as a child. Captain Quasar? Did you ever wonder why you never heard from him again? That was you? Throughout your life, I had planted seeds. Making sure that when the time was right, another superhero came along. Squid Man. A simple thing when you can freely travel time. My whole life. You've been there. I, I was just a pawn. No. As Andrew, I fell in love with you. This I had not planned. Please. You're pathetic, you know. All your power and this is how you use it? It caused me great pain to give you up. But my thirst for vengeance drove me. You seriously expect me to sign on as Queen of the Galaxy after you've manipulated me and everyone I care about? I was... No. Then what do you want? I just don't want you to be mad at me. Please understand. My goal was not to hurt you. It's difficult when your dreams of power are shattered. It's not easy being a trans-dimensional warlord. There are a lot of pressures. Forget it. I'm not gonna forgive you. You're a total dick. Now let me go. You heard me. Send me back. As you wish. You brought this on yourself. You need to give some serious thought to how your actions affect other people. Reconsider your priorities. And don't even think about coming up with some new form and trying to re-enter my life. I'll know. This again? You're not gonna let me die this time. This was not to be your death. Yeah, we had this conversation before. So, uh, what did I do wrong this time? Was I supposed to stop Lord Paradox? We are not concerned with Lord Paradox. Lord Paradox will be his own undoing. Your destiny lies in the swear. So that's it. Before you do, I have one question, and you have to answer. Now, I've died twice, and both times it fell fine. And then I wake up again on your table. 
Am I the same person who died with the same soul or whatever? Or am I an exact duplicate? Thank you. 